How friction affects movement of objects. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! Friction is a force that occurs between the surfaces of two objects in contact or rubbing against each other. It may vary depending on the type of surface an object comes in contact with. With this, friction brings advantages and disadvantages to moving and non-moving objects. Let us learn and discover how friction affects moving objects. Tell whether the statements are true or false. Friction is an energy that moves objects. Friction causes moving objects to stop. Friction occurs when two surfaces rub against each other. Friction allows objects to continue moving. Friction acts in a direction opposite the direction of an object's motion. Activity 1. Rolling and Sliding In this activity, you will observe how friction affects the movement of objects. You will also identify the factors affecting it. You will need a ball in a box with almost the same mass as the ball. Perform this activity on a floor or on a long table. Put a mark on the floor. Place the ball on the mark. Push the ball gently. Mark the point where the ball stopped. Replace the ball with a small box. Place it on the same mark where the ball was initially placed. Apply the same amount of push to the box as was given to the ball. Put a mark on the point where the small box stopped. Answer the following questions by choosing between the ball and the box. Which object has the longer distance traveled? Which object has bigger surface area in contact with the floor? Which object was acted on by greater friction? Based on the activity, complete the following statements by choosing the word that best completes the following sentences. Why does the ball in the box travel at different distances? The ball in the box traveled different distances because of the difference in their shape surface area, push applied. How does friction affect the movement of objects with big or small surface areas? An object with a bigger surface area experiences a greater, lesser friction, while an object with a smaller surface area has a greater, lesser friction. How does friction affect the movement of objects such as the ball and the box? Friction makes moving objects slow down, get faster. It can also stop, move, moving objects. In this activity, what is the factor affecting friction? Shape, surface area, distance traveled. Activity 2. Falling objects. Does air affect the movement of falling objects? In this activity, you will be able to observe how air affects the movement of falling objects. You will need two identical sheets of paper. Perform the activity in your room. Prepare two sheets of identical papers. Crumple one of the papers. Raise the two pieces of paper to the same height. Drop the papers at the same time. 
Repeat dropping the papers two more times and observe. Between the crumpled paper and the uncrumpled one, which object reached the floor first? A. Crumpled paper. B. Plain paper. Does air affect the falling of the two papers? Why? A. Yes, the air opposes the movement of the two papers. B. No. The air does not oppose the movement of the two papers. Which object experienced the greater opposing force of the air? Why? A. The crumpled paper because it has a small surface area in contact with the air. B. The plain paper because of its wide or big surface area in contact with the air. How does air friction affect the movement of falling objects? Air friction slows down, increases the motion of falling objects. In the two activities that you have conducted, you have observed that friction affects the movement of the ball, box, and falling pieces of paper. You were also able to identify the factors affecting it. In activity 1, the ball and the box covered different distances. The ball traveled longer distance than the box. It is because of their different shapes or surface area in contact with the floor. The surface area of the ball in contact with the floor is smaller, while the box has a bigger or greater surface area. Objects with bigger surface areas, like a box, are easier to stop. Thus, it travels a shorter distance because greater friction acts on it. Objects with smaller surface areas, like a ball, are harder to stop. Thus, it travels a longer distance because lesser friction acts on it. Therefore, surface area of contact affects friction. The bigger or greater the surface area of objects in contact with the floor, the greater the friction. The smaller surface area of objects in contact with the floor, the lesser the friction. In Activity 2, air resists the movement of the falling pieces of paper. This air resistance is also known as air friction or air resistance introduced in Lesson 1. It acts opposite the direction of motion of falling objects. The bigger or greater the surface area of falling objects, the greater the air friction. The smaller the surface area of falling objects, the lesser the air friction. Activity 3. Rough and smooth. Friction also varies on the type of surfaces of the two objects rubbing against each other. To observe how objects' different textures of surfaces affect friction, do this activity. You will need any round object like a ball, a marble, or a tomato in a piece of cloth, like towel. Perform this activity on a long table or the floor. Cover one side of the table with a cloth, like towel. The covered portion will represent rough surface and the uncovered portion, a smooth surface. Place the ball at the starting line of the smooth surface. Push the ball gently. Mark the point where the ball stopped. Do the same for the rough surface this time. In which surface did the ball travel a shorter distance? In which surface did the ball travel a longer distance? Which surface has a greater friction? Which surface has a lesser friction? 
How does friction differ in a smooth surface from a rough surface? Friction is, greater, lesser, in smooth surface, while friction is, bigger, smaller, in rough surface. How does friction affect the movement of objects in smooth and rough surfaces? Objects move, faster, slower, in smooth surface. Object moves, faster, slower, in rough surface. In this activity, what is the factor affecting friction? Complete the following statements by filling in the blanks. Blank affects the movement of objects. Friction blank the movement of objects in motion. Friction is blanked in rough surface and object with bigger surface area. Friction is blanked in smooth surface and object with smaller surface area. Put a tick mark if it shows reducing friction and cross if not. Nestor puts rollers under his heavy cabinet. Errol uses rubber shoes while playing basketball. Andrea applies floor wax to make the floor smooth. Nelmar puts grease on his bicycle gears. Rose mops the wet floor. Bye.